Test, test. Okay, everyone here okay? Yes. All right. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is uh, Trent. I'm Lafayette on IRC and such. Just want to give you a quick run through some stuff I've been working on, but specifically how we can do some uh, microcontroller development on Linux with a Bluetooth low energy um, uh, device. It looks pretty cool. So a little bit of backstory about why I started doing this. Uh, last year, we built a new house. And uh, building your house is a great time, dealing with builders and all that sort of thing. Uh, but mostly, I just wanted to jam as much gadgetry and connected stuff in there as I could. Uh, so I started looking around at some products. Uh, one of the things I found I really liked was this Insteon line of um, lighting. It would let me basically have every light controllable um, via the network, but also they had a really great range of switches. I don't know why uh, electric companies don't have better switches with labels on the stuff, but these guys did. Uh, so that was great, so I could label all my switches and have them on the network. Uh, so invariably, the house got built with normal lights. I tore all of it out of the roof, chased some holes in the wall, made some modifications in the roof, and now I have 27 channels of dimming and fan control and such for the entire house. That includes the toilet. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are some problems with this. Uh, Australia has a different frequency for sort of wireless devices than uh, the US, which turns into a bit of a pain because we, don't, we can't get sort of the same devices. It's literally like, it's like a one megahertz gap in the middle. Um, so while it was cool, it was like I couldn't import a whole bunch of extra stuff we could do in the US. So I was thinking about other solutions. In the meantime, I got some air conditioning installed, managed to get an Ethernet connection for that. Uh, JSON API, they gave me documentation for, very surprised. I installed an alarm, also has Ethernet, and now I graph everything about my house. <laughs> so uh, you can see solar power generated, uh, the temperature in every single room, uh, the weather station, uh, you know, everything you want. There's sort of a weak view. Uh, but I only had solar view, I didn't have view on the power, so I built a little system to check how much power I was using. Little light dependent resistor on the power meter and the power board that flashes. Uh, hacked up a small solution. Uh, not sure what they thought when they checked the power uh, looking at that, <laughs> but it's literally a little uh, 4 to 3 megahertz transmitter wired onto a relay, uh, which is wired onto the LDR. Um, good times. It ran out of battery every two days, but that's fine. Uh, it worked though. So you can see here at night I'm using power, and in the day as the solar starts to ramp up, the power mostly drops off. I think this is every time I boil the kettle or turn the aircon up or turn the microwave on. And at night, you can see the solar goes down and very smoothly switches over to input power. Wanted some more granularity, so I got some uh, current transducers. You just basically put them over each circuit in your meter board. And um, you can monitor every circuit just for fun. So I wanted to do it with Bluetooth because I was sick of all these dodgy you know, frequencies. And some work in Australia and some don't. So I found this cheap little $20 board it's, uh, from Nordic Semiconductor Bluetooth 4 development kit. Um, looks pretty cool. Not only is it Bluetooth LE, but it's got an ARM Cortex you can program. So you can, uh, you can do that. Very low power. And the official SDK has uh, make files that work on Linux with the standard GCC for ARM that you can install out of your package manager. So that was great. It's got a million examples for doing Bluetooth or even just UARTs and PWM and all sorts of stuff. Um, that's just what it, that's literally out of the box from the SDK from the developer. So I thought that was pretty cool. Only problem was programming them. Uh, so to program that board I bought for $15, it turns out I needed a $600 J-Link programmer. Um, I guess they got to pay all the software dev time. Uh, there is actually an educational version. It's only $100. It's the exact same device, but it's white, and you can't use it for commercial purposes. Uh, but I discovered the Open OCD project, which lets you flash a whole range of microcontrollers with a whole range of hardware uh, interfaces, including the SysFS GPIO. So I thought, cool, I can use my BeagleBone Black connect a few wires up, and I can program the board. Uh, one minute, yep. So I, uh, I launched OpenOCD, I programmed it, the config and everything to um, work, and it just came out like that, and I thought, there must be some kind of problem with my SysFS GPIO. The guy that wrote it made it for Raspberry Pi, I was making it work on BeagleBone. Something was clearly wrong. So I gave up, I went and bought the next generation uh, from Nordic. Uh, they have an official dev board, $120, which is actually really good for an official dev board. Um, same you know, SDK and everything, but it includes a J-Link on board. So for $100, we get the dev kit with the J-Link on board pricing. Um, you'd be mistaken for thinking the big white chip in the middle is the Bluetooth chip. It's not, it's the little one on the right. That one there is the J-Link on board. <laughs> That's the size of the actual chip. Uh, so I basically got that in, it had a proper J-Link, I thought it was all going to work, and I launched OpenOCD, and I got the same thing. I was like, oh, what have I done? 
turns out, didn't read the documentation, RTFM, you have to tell Net to open OCD in order to use it. Didn't know that. Uh, so long story short, you can just buy the $15 board and it works fine. Um, but the great news is uh, you can program on Linux, you can compile on Linux, there's the base thing. Uh, if you don't want to do any of that, open Energy Monitor, you won't have to spend a lot of time on it. There's some resources, the slide's are already on the website if you want to find all the links. Thank you very much.